all right guys so i've done a lot of videos about uh woke teachers in the classroom indoctrinating our children and the reason why guys is because the battle for the culture of this country right the battle for the future of this country in terms of the direction that is headed starts in the classroom that's what the battlefield's really been fought and the woke revolutionary liberals who go to college and become indoctrinated themselves in a uh, liberal academia they turn around and they go back and pass on this ideology to our students uh in public schools right that's what they do and man oh man let me tell you this example of indoctrination right here guys is shocking okay it's shocking right as project veritas has exposed a teacher in a public school that is openly trying to push antifa's ideology on students i mean it's honestly insane to think about but before we get into this i just want to let you guys know um <laughs> i do have merch available if you guys want to check it out uh you can check out my work hard work smart take risk shirts uh which is just basically my way of putting out an anti-victimhood message right when we have a bunch of people like these woke revolutionaries trying to push victimhood on this society um i feel like those words in my opinion kind of embody what it takes to be successful in a capitalistic society so if you want to check them out you can do that at gformanbcp.com uh you can use coupon code gformanbcp for 10 percent off and if you guys are also interested in getting a wooden uh flag like a star like this you can also check it out. The link is in the description. Uh, it is being sold by Bridge the Gap Shop. Uh, G form of BCP for a coupon code 10% off if you want to check that out as well. All right. So, man, I'm going to tell you, this right here is shocking, okay? In a Project Veritas report released on Tuesday, they exposed uh, Endercon uh, High School AP government teacher Gabriel Gripe for politically indoctrinating students and stating he is turning his students into revolutionaries. I know you heard me always use the term woke revolutionary. But the reason why I do that is because it, it is basically an allusion to the communist revolutions that happened all throughout the um, late 1800s and the 1900s, right? And that's basically what it alludes to. I just throw the word woke in front of it because, in my opinion, that perfectly describes what we're saying today in America, right? Woke revolutionaries, okay? Communists. So I'm going to play a little bit of the video from Project Veritas. It's 10 minutes long, so I'm only going to play the intro uh, because it gives you guys uh, kind of a preview of what the dude is going to be talking about. And then we're going to read some specific quotes and go from there. I have 180 days to turn them into revolutionaries. How do you do that? How do you get the fuck out of them? Yeah. Sacramento organization that is under the banner of Antifa is, is very loosely organized, right? Um, so, like, yeah, when when there is like right wing rallies and stuff, then yeah. we like will create an opposition to that. Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Where would he go to connect to some of these organizations? Like, no, I, I post calendar oh, every okay, week. Awesome. And then Let's so go. like they, it's and I do it for extra credit, so they get points for doing it. Like, and so that encourages them to do it. <laughs> and I've I've had like students show for like protests, community events, you know, tabling, food distribution, all sorts of sorts of things. They when they go, they take pictures, they write up a reflection. That's their extra credit. Like I, I have an Antifa flag on my on my wall, um, and a student complained about that. And you said it made him feel uncomfortable. Well, this is meant to make fascists feel uncomfortable. So if you feel uncomfortable, I, I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> like, maybe you shouldn't be aligning with the, the values that it, this is antithetical to. So the Cultural Revolution in the 60s was fixing the problem that came about after the economic one. It ultimately failed, right? Um, and there was a lot of excesses. People were definitely, like, you know, shot in the streets that probably shouldn't have been. Incredibly all right so guys this is a california high school teacher okay again his name is gabriel Gripe, ap government he teaches ap government ap class supposed to be for smart kids right teaching them about communist ideology not just teaching them pushing it on them telling them they they can go to antifa protests antifa protests guys for extra credit hanging an antifa flag on the wall saying well if you don't like the antifa flag if it makes you uncomfortable then 
um, you shouldn't be aligning with uh, fascist ideologies, okay? I, I, I'm going to use that line when people start complaining about the American flag, right? When people say, oh, the American flag, I'm so uncomfortable. All right, well, you shouldn't be aligning with anti-American values, <laughs> right? I, we can play this game all day. He has a poster of Mao, Mao, in his classroom. I ain't see no American flags. Saw a pride flag. This is a, a propagandist right here, guys. And guys, I usually don't call for teachers to be fired or anything like that because I'm trying to be anti-cancel culture. But th th this teacher does not belong in our schools, guys. Right? He, I mean, just the fact that you're giving students extra credit, extra credit for them to go to an anti protest. Protest, guys, that have gotten violent. Okay? Protests where, you know, people get hurt. This man is encouraging students to go and giving them extra credit for going and organizing for Antifa. It's absolutely insane. And this is not who we can have teaching our kids in the classroom. It cannot happen. It can't. I mean, even if you are neutral, right? If you're neutral, how can you see this and say this is right? That this is what students should be learning. I mean, damn, what are the supervisors at this school? Do they not uh, do evaluations where they come in the classroom and they sit and they say, okay, what is this teacher teaching, right? Where they do a surprise visit and pop in and say, oh, there's an Antifa flag there. Why, why do you have the Antifa flag there, right? Why are you putting that up there? Again, well, I mean, we've talked about flags, you know, being in school and whatnot, you know, political flags, you know, being in school. Listen, like I said, the left has already opened up Pandora's box on this. They said, well, we don't want any political flags in the school unless it's our flags right when they was going after the trump flags right when they was telling students oh you can't uh have a trump flag in the background uh even though you're working remotely so the the woke left has already said that political flags are not okay so if, if you're saying that then hey i can say well your political flag is not okay because i guarantee you that person wouldn't be cool this person wouldn't be cool with a right wing oriented flag we know he wouldn't because he's telling students to show up to protest against right-wing uh, events. Again, basically, it's not events that are actually like fascism, right? No, they're just events that we don't agree with. And see, this is the language game these people play. If you don't agree with me, then you're a fascist. If you're on the right, then you're a fascist, right? That, that's what it is. And then when you call out their group for violence and trying to push communism... Okay, they're communists on us. Well, we're just anti-fascist. We're just anti-fascist. What are you talking about? If you're against us, then you must be for fascism, which really is, again, silly logic. But let's read here, right? Let's read some, some more of these quotes. In an undercover interview with a Project Veritas reporter, Geip revealed that his intention is to radicalize students with Marxist ideas, giving extra credit for students to go to protests and community events. Again, I... That's a fireball offense. I'm just saying. It is. It is. I mean, you, you're you're saying that your intent is not to educate students. Your intent is to radicalize students. Because, guys, you know, it's one thing if he was to say, well, I'm giving you guys extra credit uh, if you go to a political event. Right? That'd be 100% fair. Right? If he just says it's a political event. I don't care if it's left, right, center, whatever. Right? Just go to a political event. Learn more about the government. That's 100% appropriate for a government class. Matter of fact, I think that's a, a great idea. It encourages students to become more educated about a political system. I think it's awesome. But what's not awesome, what's not a good idea, is saying, I'm only going to give you extra credit if you go to my far-left extremist ideology events. Right? That, again, guys, is the difference between education and indoctrination. Right? That's when you're letting your bias cloud your judgment. And you're pushing that on students. Right? I mean, and, and he says it f flat out here. I have 180 days to turn students into revolutionaries. Scare the F out of them, said Gripe in an undercover uh, footage filmed by Project Veritas. Quote, I post a calendar every week. I've had students show up for protests, community events, tabling, food distribution, all sorts of things. When they go, they take pictures, write up a reflection. That's their extra credit. Again, so you're encouraging students to go to events in which they could be harmed. Right. In which you have clashes and, and, and fighting. Right. Going on. You're saying, yeah, go to that. Right. You get extra credit. Again, this is what I'm talking about. This teacher is it could be actively encouraging students to put themselves in danger. 
Guype revealed that he indexes students' political standings throughout the year and watches as the class inches further left. Quote, so they take an ideology uh, quiz and I put the results on the classroom wall every year. They get further and further left. I'm like, these ideologies are considered extreme, right? Extreme times breed extreme ideologies, right? There's a reason why Generation Z, these kids are becoming further and further left, said guy. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Because we have propaganda artists like this guy in our classrooms. And this is why I told you guys at the beginning of the video, the battle for this country, guys, right, starts in the classroom. We have to get this out of public schools, guys. And again, because these students are being indoctrinated at a young age. They're being told by their teachers that stop listening to their parents. Capitalism bad. You're victims. You're oppressed. And anything associated with the right is either racist or fascist. Right? That, that's what they're doing. Guype said that a student had anonymously stated on the end of the questionnaire that an Antifa flag in Gripe's class made him uncomfortable. Quote, I have an Antifa flag in my classroom wall and a student complained about that. He said it made him uncomfortable. Well, this Antifa flag is meant to make fascists feel uncomfortable. If you feel uncomfortable, I really don't know what to tell you. Maybe you shouldn't be aligning with values that this Antifa flag is empathetical to. Guy said, he went on to say the violent overthrow of the U.S. government is, is a necessary solution for today's society. Wait, so let's read a little bit more here. Why aren't people taking up arms? Why can't we, you know, take up arms against the state? We have historical examples that are happening and getting crushed and putting martyrs for a cause. And it's like, okay, well, it's slow going because it takes a massive amount of organization. Guy said, so this guy's an insurrectionist. And see, th 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 this is what I'm talking about, right? Th this is what I'm talking about. This is how weak the GOP is, right? This guy is essentially saying everything that people like me have been saying about Antifa and how it should be treated as a serious uh, threat, right? This guy said literally everything that I've been saying and the GOP is, has failed to bring to the attention of the American people the toxic ideology and the threat that Antifa actually is, right? They, they let the left get away with saying, well, it's not an organized group. It's not organized. It's not a thing. It's just an idea. When it, That's not true. It is organized. It is clear. They have an ideology. They have an agenda. And they've infiltrated our classrooms. GOP says nothing. They play defense all the damn time when talking about the, the capital event and, and, and everything else. Instead of going on the offense and saying, you know what? We want to root out political violence and extremism in this country. And then you go out there and Tifa, right? But they, they, they haven't done that. They failed to do that. They failed. When, again, you, this stuff is, is right here in our faces. And nobody say anything about it. But again, the left screamed all day long about what happened at the Capitol. But you have an Antifa teacher basically saying that people should overthrow the state, right? To get what they want. But oh, no, no, it's not a threat. The only threat to this country is right wing extremists, according to the mainstream media. And the reason why they get away with it is because the GOP has been weak on this issue. They have. Guype also added that uh, a two-pronged system is needed to overhaul the government like the Chinese Cultural Revolution. Quote, you need a two-pronged system, which is exactly what Huey Newton and Fred Hampton understood. You need propaganda of the deed, your economics and cultural propaganda as well. You need to retrain the way people uh, think. So the Cultural Revolution of the 60s was fixing the problem that, that came out of the economic one. Again, this is why this guy's in the classroom. This is why he's in the classroom. This is what he's trying to do. Quote, what we can do now is root out this culture that keeps perpetuating hyper individualism, hyper competitiveness, capitalist exploitation and consolidation of wealth. I do think that it's important to understand that as an extension of an economic revolution, they the Chinese Communist Party were changing the base and then they went to change the superstructure. OK, so this dude is basically saying we want to get rid of American values, right? We want to get rid of individualism. We want to get put, get rid of competitiveness. We want to get rid of uh, capitalism. Right. All things that have made us the greatest country in the world, all things that have led us to have some of the most advanced technological innovations in the world, all things that has led us to have some of the best quality of life in the world. Right. Things that have helped our world advance and, and become better. Uh, he wants to get rid of that. That's what he's saying. He wants to get rid of what made America a great country in the first place. This is anti-American. They're teaching children anti-American ideology. 
This is what it is. You can't change one without the other. You can't have cultural shifts without the economic shift and vice versa. Gype said, Gype said that he is not the only teacher with these beliefs, noting that three other teachers hold similar views. There are also three other teachers in my department that I did my credential uh, program with, and they're rad. They're great people. They're definitely on the same page. Okay, so he also has other woke revolutionaries uh, in school, right? Colleagues that are also pushing this stuff on kids. This is what's happening, right? This is what's happening. This is why, you know, it, it's important for conservatives to get out of the big cities, right? Particularly the big cities, okay? And get kids out of public school right now. Because, I mean, but this is what's being taught. We're seeing it all over the place. We're seeing it all over the place. Kids can't even go to school and learn about the government without being brainwashed with toxic communist political ideology it's already enough that it happens at the college level right it's already enough that you go to college and you get indoctrinated with it nah they start in elementary school now right <laughs> they're starting elementary school middle school high school that's what they're doing that's what they're doing so like i said man my mind is blown by this and again this is why it's important that you know conservatives you know run for school board get on the school board uh get more involved in schools you know, be there. Know what's going on. It's also why we need cameras in school, right? Body cameras for police officers, body cameras for teachers. I think we need both. Parents should know what the hell is going on in the classroom because I'm pretty sure a lot of parents would not be okay with that. But it's California, so who knows? Maybe they are, right? Call me for me. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.